Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with an update as to what's going on with the possibility of severe weather in the Mid-South as we go into the rest of the evening. Now, again, so far we're doing pretty quiet. We don't have a lot going on. We're going to throw out our usual format, and we're going to be kind of skipping around by just a little bit, answering as many of your questions as we possibly can as to where, when, how much, and things like that. We'll give everybody a chance to hop on here so we can get everybody updated as to what's going on. So far, again, from the Storm Prediction Center, we do not have anything as of 8 o'clock at least in the way of a severe thunderstorm watch or any other watches going on, so that's good news. But later on tonight, that could be a different story. We are monitoring the uh, Severe Storms Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma, to see what they say about what's going on for tonight, and we'll keep you updated about what the schedule is going to be for this evening. And if we have time, take a quick look at the forecast. I do have to say, again, at this point, if anything does uh, become severe, Severe. Part of my duties here is to get on the broadcast situation, so we'll try to keep this going as long as possible if we get into any severe weather in, say, about the next 20 minutes or so as we're doing this. But as of right now, again, we may have to uh, conclude this rather abruptly and go to live coverage on News Channel 3, as is policy. So we'll do our best to get everybody covered here in just a little bit. So again, thanks a lot for sticking around for more as to what's going on out there. I'm going to go ahead and hop on over. And mainly going to be looking at again uh, what's going on with Storm Tracker 3 radar at this time. And again, we don't have a lot happening directly in the metro area at this point, although we are noticing again a lot more development than we saw just about an hour or so ago. Now, keep in mind again, nothing on this screen at this point is severe. Red on radar means again just a higher signature of return rate. There's more rainfall where you see the colors getting toward red or even purple, and that means that a lot more rainfall is causing a lot more signal to bounce back to the radar site. We don't have any severe weather for the metro. We're bringing up this scan to show you a little bit more about what's happening at this point. And looking back to the west, we do have, again, a few more thunderstorms popping up just north of West Memphis, right between the Mississippi River and back into eastern Arkansas. Now, the good news at this time that we have not seen the inclusion of a new watch taking place. We'll take a look at that graphic in just a little bit. We have been watching these thunderstorms back to our west, and they looked a lot more numerous. They've been kind of pulsing a little bit. They get a lot stronger. They collapse. They regenerate. They start back over again in that whole cycle. So the good news at this point is that right around, say, between Little Rock and Forest City. We've got a pretty good cluster here around Carlisle and just around the Keeville area. Once again, not looking at anything in the way of severe weather just west of Forest City, but we are seeing the occasional flare-up taking place here. And now just getting into around southwestern parts of Lee County in Arkansas, so around Mariana and just west of the News Channel 3 viewing area that starts here and goes back into central Arkansas. This is basically the end of our broadcast signal, or at least where it gets pretty weak, so we don't cover the counties back this direction. But back towards St. Francis, Lee, and Phillips County, you've got this cluster making its way on through. And so far, I don't see any indications on our other computer systems that I'm monitoring here just out of sight. We don't look at anything in the way of major amounts of problems from this and no warnings from this particular storm. Memphis way up here in the corner, there's West Memphis right there and again much of what we're looking at right now is just again these scattered chances of these thunderstorms popping up. Now going over into around northern Mississippi you can see again these clusters of thunderstorms developing. This is going to be the target zone for anything that does possibly become severe in the next few hours. We're going to see this threat probably last until late, until about after News Channel 3 at 10 and into around midnight or so or just afterwards. So we'll see how well that goes at this time. Getting some more thunderstorms developing here. Senatobia, you're probably getting some pretty good rumbles of thunder down toward Batesville. New thunderstorm developing just west of I-55 at this time. Clusters of thunderstorms. This has been a pretty busy area around Lafayette County in Mississippi. We've seen again some thunderstorms popping up from time to time, and those are going all the way over to around Tupelo for this evening. So if you're traveling I-22 going away from Memphis down toward Tupelo, this is what you're going to have to deal with moving up to the northeast and crossing the highway. Could be the possibility of some small hail. Some of these thunderstorms back to the west of us in parts of Arkansas dropped a couple of inches worth of hail around Fort Smith, Fayetteville, back toward Eureka Springs. Some localized areas got a whole bunch 
bunch of stuff into that location. Going back up to around the metro area in West Tennessee, again, not that much going on at this time. So we don't really have, again, a lot of anything just yet. We do have some showers and some rumbles of thunder, but that's about it for the time being. Likewise, northeast Arkansas, Jonesboro, Blytheville, back to around the area of Manila. There's a lot more lightning taking place between the 55 and 555 split. But once again, none of this is showing up as anything involving severe weather. And again, those thunderstorms right back around just northwest of Shelby County for tonight. Now, we do have, again, a severe thunderstorm watch in effect. The counties in yellow, again, just outside the News Channel 3 viewing area, are under this watch until 10 o'clock. So far, we have not gotten any indication from the government agency that issues these watches, the Storm Prediction Center. Uh, that's available at weather.gov. Click on severe weather for more information about that. Again, we don't see anything. They usually issue a statement that says this area or another area will be covered over by a watch relatively soon. We haven't seen that for a while because these thunderstorms, while they've been popping up and they have become severe, Notice the orange polygons here. Those are severe thunderstorm warnings from Little Rock down to about Pine Bluff and just around to the Mississippi River. None in effect for the News Channel 3 viewing area just yet. Hopefully it stays that way. But again, if anything happens, we'll let you know about that on air and on our social media network channels as well. So stick around for more on that. Thanks to everybody for tuning in for this evening. Uh, trying to keep everybody updated at this point in time to let you know a little bit more about uh, what's going on. Samuel Ford, a penny for your thoughts. Uh, thanks. I'm a little busy right now. It'll probably cost a little bit more than that, but uh, thank you for that at this point in time. Sway Hobbs, are we going to die eventually? Yes, but not right now. Uh, quit using FB for every dang weather report. Uh, it's not the intended use of this feature. Well, it helps people understand more about what's going on with the weather. Professionally, I have to disagree with you, and you're entitled to your opinion, but sorry, that's what we're going to do with this for tonight. And uh, the off switch, again, is available to you to use that in case you want to. As of right now, again, no severe weather at this point in time, so this is what we're going to be seeing uh, into and around the area for the time being uh, for right now. 58 in New Bern, Paulette Morrow, thank you very much. Uh, for that one at this point in time. So again, much what we're seeing for right now. Colt, Arkansas, Diane Wingo, thunder and lightning being reported. Uh, tremendous amount of lightning in downtown Little Rock. Regina, love the shoes I'm in. Glasper, thank you very much uh, for that one on there. And as of right now, again, seeing nothing directly in the way of severe weather, but this is what we're going to be watching for. Now, we could see the possibility of another watch being issued here within the course of the next hour or so. Uh, looks like, if I'm not mistaken, we just got a uh, possibility of some lightning showing up on one of our uh, cameras. We'll, say, we'll have to see if that continues here in just a little bit. Just caught that out of the corner of my eye, but uh, not seeing a lot there. While we're waiting for new information from the National Weather Service and the Storm Prediction Center, we'll give you a little bit more details as to what we're seeing again across the rest of the area for right now. Temperatures in the Mid-South, again, we're not really looking at too much in the way of major amounts of problems just yet. Excuse the changeover. was borrowing the Graceland camera there for just a little bit to show what's going on here in Memphis. Temperatures back into the mid-60s at this point in time. And again, it's very much on the mild side, so we are seeing again the potential for some very mild conditions out there. Alan Lindgren, I was wondering if you were going to check in uh, regarding the cameras out there. If you get any pictures, love to see those, uh, if at all possible. So again, please make certain to uh, send those along, if at all possible. If you're going to try to take pictures of any weather out there, we'd love to see them. Don't, I'm not going to question that, but safety first and safety always. Again, please remember to make certain that you are taking your safety into account. Don't risk your life for a video or a picture. It's just not worth it out there. Believe me on that. I've seen too many people get hurt or injured across the Mid-South. All right, here's what it looks like. Again, this is going to walk this for you through for the forecast. Again, as we go throughout the next couple of hours, as we head through about News Channel 3 at 10, and just afterwards, going to be, again, some thicker amounts of lightning into and around the area and some stronger thunderstorms out there. Lightning in Covington, Dayton, Sorrel. Thank you very much at this point in time. Uh, Ashley Nichols, Boone, our risk level in Colt, Arkansas. We'll talk about that. We'll do uh, the Storm Prediction Center forecast in just a little bit, so stay tuned again for more on that at this point in time. Clear so far in Hardy, Cherokee Village, Arkansas. Thank you very much, Tanya Ford, uh, for that one at this point in time. So thanks a lot for uh, that one at this point. And Logan Ward, glad you had some opportunities to get out with the bike riding for earlier today. Midnight or so, again, we still see that potential of stronger weather. 
this forecast model just indicating again where the heaviest possibility of per uh, precipitation is going to be uh, into later on tonight. And again, I'm thinking that what we may see is a lingering possibility of showers and thunderstorms that could be on the strong to severe side as we go a little bit closer to around uh, midnight or so and just afterwards. Now, taking this a little further, and again, I'm having to step off screen because my controller is out of reach, so I'm not trying to ignore you by getting off camera for right here, but I have to kind of reach over to here to get this taken care of. Now, through about 3 o'clock in the morning, it looks like, again, that leading line of the possibility of thunderstorms kind of lingers a little bit. This forecast is a little different than what we saw a few hours ago, so we still see that potential of showers and thunderstorms possibly right on in through about 3 o'clock in the morning. And then as we get into around very early on Sunday morning, most of the threat should be gone and making it uh, all the way over into Alabama, southern middle Tennessee, and out of the area into around northeast Mississippi excuse me, back around the Corinth area and down through around areas west of about State College and east of the area down to around, say, Jackson. That's going to be about the main thing that we see there. Uh, Angie Herta Begez, uh, Begez, hope I'm saying that right, Bay Springs. Uh, can you narrow that down a little bit on states? I'm not entirely sure where exactly that is. Thank you very much. Uh, Judy Kennedy Mouser. Brownsville, Tennessee, lightning to the west of here, and that's starting to show up on more of our cameras. I'll see if I can get that going here coming up in just a little bit. Jennifer Noland, Pollard, uh, Savannah, and the rest of the area. Let me go ahead and switch over to the uh, Storm Prediction Center map and give you an idea as to what we're looking at for right now. And again, the threat at this time is not entirely too different than what we saw this morning. The main area of concern is going to be from Fort Smith down the Arkansas River through Little Rock and into around the Mississippi Delta area. The area close to around Phillips in Arkansas and Coahoma and Quitman counties in Mississippi this is the slight risk category. So the yellow category, the polygon you see here, is the highest threat of severe weather for tonight. Now, the main threat we only have for right now, the best possibility of severe weather is going to be damaging winds. We may see some large hail. We have seen some hail with these storms, so that could be a possible problem. What about tornadoes? They're possible. They're not, again, a great threat at this point in time. But again, at this time of the year, we need to take that into account and watch out for those and make certain you're able to seek shelter as soon as possible. Now, a little closer into and around the area. OK, tracker's not working again, so hang on just one second here. And that's not going to work either. OK, sorry about that. As of right now, what we're looking at is, again, the main threat in here from the slight risk category, this bright green area that's marginal threat, that's a lesser possibility of severe weather, but it's still possible. So keep that in mind. And again, the green area here, just generic thunderstorms. So hopefully the threat remains here, but the Storm Prediction Center lifted this northward several hours ago, and we continue to see that. So for everybody asking for portions of northeast Arkansas, west Tennessee, and northeast Mississippi, so far it does not appear to be a threat outside of just basic thunderstorms and plenty of rainfall out here. This is going to be the main target zone. So for Forest City, Helena, West Helena, down toward Batesville, Clarksdale, south and west of Oxford on I-55, this is going to be our main area that we see the potential for, again, severe weather uh, into and around the Mid-South. So this is what we're going to be seeing for the potential for uh, later on tonight. So anybody else in this area, if you're not included in this area here, the bright green and the yellow, and you're up in this direction, yeah, okay, for right now, it's all right, but I would keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and keep it updated for what's going on into and around the area for later on tonight. Lightning and thunder around Corinth, Marsha Howe, Monty, hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, thank you very much. Lisa cannon Mergle. how many inches of rainfall? Could be about an inch and a half to two inches, at least in some of these areas from some of these thunderstorms. So this is something that we could see uh, aggravate the flooding situation again. Hopefully it's going to stay relatively localized, but we'll watch out for that again coming up here uh, in just a little bit. So stick around for more on that uh, into the course of the rest of the weekend. The flooding situation is improving. The Mississippi River is actually going downwards, but we may see more problems with that again throughout the course of the rest of the next couple of days if the flooding situation gets aggravated by just a little bit. Okay, quick check of the forecast, and then we'll go back to Storm Tracker 3S radar and keep you updated as to what's going on. Uh, still not seeing a new watch or new warnings. 
hopefully I'm not jinxing myself there on that. Rest of the night, again, showers and thunderstorms through about midnight tonight, and then looking at rain and showers mainly into and around uh, the rest of the area for the rest of the day tomorrow. So we're just not seeing, again, too much of anything uh, moving out into the area where it comes to dry weather across much of the Mid-South there. So that's going to be about what we see for uh, most of the day. So showers and thunderstorms past midnight and then just rainfall through about lunchtime and through the evening hours as well. So expecting kind of a wet Sunday coming up. Now, as we get into the forecast heading into and around, say, uh, early Monday, we've got, again, some dry conditions heading our way, and things look a lot better, a little bit cooler, and yes, right after the weekend, things clear out. That's what happens. Can't really change that, but looking a little bit nicer as we go into Monday, and then getting toward Tuesday, remaining dry and cool with mostly sunny conditions out there, so not really seeing it too much of anything in the way of, again, too much of a problem there. Now, again, through the rest of the week, warming up back toward normal toward the end of the week, and then showers and thunderstorms again by Friday night into around Saturday. We may see some very warm weather here post-St. Patrick's Day, getting close to 80 degrees as we head toward Monday. We'll be coming very close to the official start of the spring season. It's about nine days and change out. So hopefully, again, getting a little bit closer to that relatively soon. But again, some fairly mild conditions out there. It is going to be pretty brisk, though, throughout the next couple of mornings uh, from about the area from Monday morning through about Thursday morning. Temperatures at the bus stop for the kids will be very brisk. So please keep that in mind across much of the area. All right. For those of you who are just tuning in late, it is just about 821. So says the clock in the red bar on the left-hand side of your screen. And we are seeing, again, some more activity in and around around uh, the metro area, but so far we do not have anything showing up that counts as anything in the way uh, of severe weather, so that's good news. So much of what you're seeing right here, including these thunderstorms southeast of Somerville, West Tennessee located right here, Mississippi River right down through here, North Mississippi, the state line right there, and eastern Arkansas over here with the metro area and the loop right here in the middle of your screen just to kind of triangulate you here for uh, just a little bit. Again, much of what we're looking at for right now, this is where we're seeing in these showers and thunderstorms develop at various points in time. A little bit more activity going on with this one around Tyrone. Ronza and Golden Lake, and it looks like we have even more activity developing back uh, close to the area north of Wynn and into and around the area of Cherry Valley and Harrisburg. A lot more lightning with this. These thunderstorms have been doing this throughout the evening. They've been kind of pulsing a little bit, developing stronger, drifting, and then kind of dropping by just a little bit, and we'll continue to see that throughout the rest of the evening from what it looks like out there. West Tennessee in general, not that much going on. And again, northeast Arkansas, that line is kind of lifting northward, but not much beyond that at this point. And then again, we have that severe thunderstorm watch in effect for areas just outside the News Channel 3 viewing area. Let me just do a quick check uh, real fast and see if the Storm Prediction Center is planning on issuing anything anytime soon. Uh, looks like we may have another uh, severe thunderstorm watch in effect, possibly. Yes, okay, from somewhere around this area, Storm Prediction Center is showing the potential of another watch being issued, possibly within the hour, and that was issued about 15 minutes ago. So it's a good possibility this area of northwest Tennessee and southeast Arkansas may see a new thunderstorm watch developing here pretty soon, right along that slight risk area that we were seeing from earlier. So stay tuned to News Channel 3, and again, we'll keep you updated on that. Showers and thunderstorms again advancing into the Mid-South from back around portions of central Arkansas. So we'll see more of that throughout the rest of the area for tonight. Uh, Lisa cannon Mergle hail. That's a threat at this point. Yes, it is possible. Matter of fact, a lot of these storms back in northwest Arkansas dropped a couple of inches of hail around Van Buren and back up into the northwest part of the state. So would not be surprised to see that. There's some decently cold air a few thousand feet up, so it's not surprising to get all that hail dropping down into around the area close to the Mid-South as that continues onwards. The air is a little bit warmer, so we're not probably going to get as much of it. And hopefully with the lack of sunshine, we'll see a little bit less in the way of problems with hail. But I would not be surprised if we saw some more of that coming our way. Uh, throughout the rest of the evening. Again, on the net here tonight, letting you know a little bit more about what's going on uh, with the situation at this time. We may be looking at another severe thunderstorm watch relatively soon. We'll bring that information to you on social media as soon as we get it. Uh, as of right now, there is nothing in effect directly for the News Channel 3 viewing area. Several areas of thunderstorms from I-55 
back across to around Tupelo tonight and all that moving roughly east-northeast. So we'll continue to see more with that uh, throughout the rest of the evening. And these clusters of thunderstorms now just moving into the News Channel 3 viewing area south and west of Memphis in the upper right-hand corner there. So again, much of what we're looking at here is the potential for uh, those thunderstorms going on through the Mid-South and going to continue into the area. Uh, no, it's not a tornado warning. Annette Cornier uh, Wiener. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Wellner, sorry about that. Can't read two-point typeface. We don't have a tornado warning in effect. We're just letting people know uh, more about what's going on more than anything else. If there was a tornado warning, we would have uh, been on the air with that a lot sooner. But thank you very much uh, into and around the area for right now. Uh, the possibility for what uh, we see for tonight, let's see, Billy Lightning. See the possibility of downstream for northern and central Mississippi for not Tennessee. It's possible, but again, we're going to be keeping our eyes on what's going to be going on uh, throughout the entire Mid-South area, and hopefully it stays in that slight risk category, but we need to keep an eye on everybody for the time being at this point. Uh, Lisa Cannon, Mergle, is this a fast-moving storm? Not really. These things are mainly going to the east-northeast at about, say, 30, 35 miles per hour. Doesn't really look like it's going uh, any faster than that at this point, so good news at this time. Jessica Oaks, don't need no more tornadoes. Agreed with that. We don't really need uh, anything else at this point in time, so it doesn't really seem like a, hopefully, a problem at this point for right now and we'll keep you again advised as to what's going on throughout the rest of the evening. Let's give you one more look at this again the severe thunderstorm watch in effect we may see again a new watch issued here relatively soon that'll carry us on through midnight and we'll keep you updated again as to what may be coming our direction uh, throughout the rest of the evening on News Channel 3 at 10 and on the news uh, into around daybreak if there's any wrap-up going on into and around the area for that. And if you are just tuning in, again, the main threat we have for the potential of severe weather is going to, again, be into the area where we see the slight risk category down here. Now, this has been, again, expanded a little bit northward into the Mid-South from the last couple of days. Uh, really started to increase this morning. So again, this is going to be the main target zone here for severe weather, which is hopefully again about where the next watch will be. We may not see much of anything around the metro area, but stay tuned. We'll let you know about this one in tune around the area for right now. Uh, let's see, th since this is going through, David White, does this change tomorrow's forecast? Not entirely. The rain is going to be sticking around throughout the rest of the forecast into tonight. And we will see, again, that potential for uh, the rainfall continuing, it looks like, throughout most of the day tomorrow. By midnight, again, some thunder will be sticking around, but chances of rain through lunchtime and into the evening hours. It's into around Sunday night where this rain kind of gets undercut by some dry air that erodes it from the west, and that cooler, drier air becomes more stable. So that right there, the rain sticks around as we go into around tomorrow. And for Monday, we finally start to clear things out by just a little bit, so we don't really see too much of anything else uh, in tune around the Mid-South. So there's really just not that much uh, going on. Thanks to everybody for, again, the kind comments and the weather reports out there for the time being. Uh, love being young. Will the river rise more than what it is now? little too early to tell on that. It depends on how much rainfall we get out of this. Uh, so far, the service hydrologist Gene Wrench at the National Weather Service has been saying that uh, we've crested in the last about couple of days. What did I do with it? Here we go. This is going to be kind of a terrible view because it's dark out there. Well, okay, we'll just use this as the background for right now, the Baptist DeSoto camera. Mississippi River level, we've already crested, and it is going to be dropping for about the next couple of days, but any rise in river levels due to rainfall will show up here in the forecast coming up within the next few days. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. Once again, if you're just tuning in, we're approaching 8.30, and so far we have nothing in the way of severe weather. We are monitoring for anything new, but nothing has happened at this point, so that's good news. We hope it stays that way, but we'll continue to watch what goes on and keep you updated throughout the rest of the evening. I'll have a complete update of your forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Mike Sadie will have more on sports. Kristen Holloway has all the day's news. And, of course, if anything becomes severe, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on air. And again, I will make certain that we have everything ready to go should we encounter any severe weather, which so far we don't have anything immediately. So that's definitely good news. So again, uh, stick around for more on that. Earl Margaret Cutchins, did you say Corinth would get a lot of rainfall? 
It's possible you're getting some pretty decent showers right north of that area right now, and some of this could spark off some more showers and thunderstorms in the next couple of hours, so I would not be surprised if you picked up uh, about an inch of rainfall into that area, so uh, could be a possible problem there, and any wet roadways out there could be slowing things down, so please keep that in mind. Stick around for more information with News Channel 3. I'll keep you updated and let you know a little bit more as to what's going on, and again, more updates coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Severe weather warnings on air and and online as they happen. So stick around for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the evening. Thanks for joining us.